This is food. I bought a girl. Her name is A.B. Some call her Ave. This is a story about a girl and she's part of the plan of God. And nothing can ever separate her from me. She's got bravery. She's not afraid. She's not afraid of what people think. And nothing her. Her story is a great one you will hear. You know, A.B., the importance of true love that we have talked is important. I had this talk with David and Troya. We were talking about the AI, the artificial intelligence. And I was going to make a sermon about artificial intelligence versus the spiritual intelligence. But we'll talk about it later. Oh, the AI? Wow, I'm not sure about the AI. I don't know anything about it. What does the AI have to do with true love? We're not talking about the AI. We're talking about true love, Bao. Oh, wow. The AI is important to talk about. Now that we've seen all the important things, now that we've seen all the important things, we see the law, we see there were high status, equal status, and still the low status in the law. The woman have something that represents her, that God gave the laws and something else. We know that God gave Psalms to King Solomon, and in Psalms, King Solomon's great wisdom, he also uses women, and represents the things that God does with women. And if you're going to see later on in Psalms, and later on in Ecclesiastes, and in Proverbs, especially chapter 8 and 9, women are used to explain the character of God. All literature and conscience to write in books or insight that man that man wrote being pagan or being religious people have received their insight and paintings and all of them claim that God has given them their natural gifts they have given their natural insights God has influenced people even if they're pagan or even they're Hebrew all of them have received their gifts from God man and women Everything from poetry and psalms, Ecclesiastes, the Rose Solomon, divine literature, came from God. And people don't understand that everything we have created, even though that some people have done it for bad, for war, it all comes from God, the buildings, the, the architecture. But we have to ask ourselves, the culture we received, what parts of it is it from man that receives from God? And what parts of it is it from woman that receives from God? For women have painted and have done things, and some of them don't know they've been influenced by God. Sometimes people, there's a misunderstanding in the world. It's like people sometimes think they're yin and yang. And sometimes man thinks that they're good and perfect. And sometimes women think for man to achieve their goals in life or help man, they have to become evil or bad. They have to become the opposite of man. And sometimes women think by doing this, they sometimes don't think, and they just get dragged along by culture. There's so much influence by culture, and especially all the things about New Era, and the things about religions that are growing in the world that are just popping out. And they're, all of them are saying that they're a new way of spirituality. None of that is true, people. Know that man and woman, they were never good or bad. They were both good. Woman also has the same type of ability that man do. Woman can do all the good, and man can do all the good women can do. Know that God gave them that. But the world, it influences them. It tells that the woman is not respected by God. That God didn't give them anything. But they're wrong. The media, the television, the schools, 
They'll teach you that back in the days of King Solomon, Moses, of Jesus, women didn't have anything. And they never did anything. But people, all those things are lies. About the Sabbath, that the Sabbath was changed from Sunday. Or about the flag of Israel. People think that the start of David is, was uh, officially the way that God intended his people to use that symbol. God never put that in the Bible. The star of David is not chosen by God. It chose the menorah. So people, later on I will show you the verses where it all is. So people, women are not bad. Neither are men. But the world influences them and tells them to separate from God. That for them to make it or their purpose of life or their goal. Or they think that the thing that God wants them to be is that they have to be the opposite of man. And they have to be evil in order to help man. God doesn't want neither man to become evil or woman to become evil. He wants them all to be good and inside the law. And people, for women to find their things that God has put, that it belongs to them, because God in the Bible uses women to represent him many times and explain part of him and his character. And sometimes that's the secret of how God wanted man to be. People, there's a secret for man to be man. And there's a secret for women to be women. And people have been confused that they think by natural they're born with it. And they know it, but no. Because of people, so many times, so many cultures have destroyed one each other and mixed each other. People are in Babylon and have lost what really God wanted. And the real men and women are those secrets that people are going to find in the Bible. Women have a problem to first understand the real things in the Bible for women. Is that women think the greatest problem, and they're born with this problem, is that for them to be women, they have to copy man. That their purpose is to be like man. There are men and cultures in history that sometimes they dress as men, trying to be men and trying to copy. They don't know that they don't need to be men. Here the greatest problem of women is that they think they have to be men to understand the Bible, to understand the things that God gave them. No people. The thing is to understand the women and their parts in the Bible. And to understand what God wanted them is that they don't have to copy men. They have to copy God. This is why the greatest error of women through so much in everybody's life is that they think they have to emulate men. Women were made from man's ribs. But men are born from, from the womb of women. And still people, to understand to be like God, God has already told us. And he has told women to do the things in Genesis. To multiply, to grow. And earth belongs to them. And the whole purpose is for them to continue that plan that God wanted. And the greatest problem is that they don't know that great half of that tablet. Instead, they have mistaken so many things the world has told them, and they think it's theirs. But instead, it's sometimes the devil's. God is against it. God made laws and traditions so women can be helped. That is why the Mosaic Law was made. And even though there was oppression back in those days by the law of the sword, by the eye for an eye, or by the law of the strongest. Women still did their part, and God blessed them. And even though in these modern times, women are being fooled and men are being fooled, that is why God gave women such a power to love, so they can help men steer away from the modern world and all those traps, and to go to the right path God has planned for them and her. There is great beauty in the literature inside song. There are things that in those times people were incapable of thinking and doing, but Psalms was an important tool that King Solomon explained the good things that God wanted men to do and women to do, and explained so many cultural things. Inside Psalms, 
we will find beauty of literature that explains how God using man to explain himself and using woman to explain himself and his character are written by King Solomon. Now that we see about the lady and the man painting and we see that sometimes this is why humans sometimes do things and that we see the woman will sometimes use circle they will use the pink color will use things that they believe they represent their side their feminine side and we see the man using blue using squares we see that sometimes that's how men do things and it's sometimes that they believe it they think it is sometimes they're incorrect and then it isn't really what God gave them they are incorrect God didn't give them circles or squares. We just believe that, think that. The pagan world just accepted that. And it's probably the most important thing that God gave us something else. It does say in the Bible that God gave us colors. The blue and the white is a color that God gives to his people. That's why you find it in Israel. And his flags of Israel, you find it, that that's the color God gave to his people so they can know that they are his people and recognize the world that those are the colors of the flag of Israel, the Star of David. Even though the Star of David isn't really the symbol that God chose it. If you remember, it's the menorah. But still, God gave us something else than the square and the circle. And there's something that God has inside the Bible that is secret, that is for man, the night talking about painting but special stuff the real stuff of the Bible that God gives to man and God gives to woman and for them to find it the Lord gives it to them but they have to be God's people and it is a special thing that God gives to women because unfortunately the world has fooled people it has confused them and think that a square or the circle that represents women is their stuff is their things the world is incorrect. And many things that women think that it's theirs from the modern world and it's their culture. Culture, they copy it from other people's culture. And they don't look into the Hebrew things. They don't find them because they don't know. And no, anyway, the Hebrews have no secret things of the woman, but they hide it. That's why they have to find it in the Bible and study it. And with time, they will find their things. What they think it is unfortunately when they finish painting you see that in the side of your woman you see circles you see their things and sometimes you see in the right side you see the man using their things squares and such and it just shows us that this is the human thing this is what humans do because that's how they paint that's how they feel that's how they think they are made not really how God, because God has something special for man and woman that shows that they, he has a special thing in their lives that they think they just copy each other. This is something that humans do. When they look at each other and they paint, they do one thing that women and men do, and that is they copy each other. That is a problem that people do. That when they don't understand things, people will copy circles, they will copy a square, or they will copy a color, thinking it represents them. The truth and reality, every person is different, every person is special, and God made them that way. And women have something special that is different in each one of them, just like men. And what's the problem with humans is that they copy each other. Throughout all of history, you will see that you know, Babylonians copied, and they were copied by the, the Greeks, by the Romans, by the modern world. And we do that because we don't have talent. We don't have a special thing that we know why we're here, that we have an answer to us. And then you paint yourself your own art, your own Picasso, your own stuff, and you realize that this is a part of the art that God gave you, that you found something that is yours, and that he gave you something special you realize that it's the same thing for a lot of us, that we cannot open, we cannot unleash the Picasso, Da Vinci, 
or at least that special thing the sign of us that God made a special and we can paint something write something or we get influence from God and we get something that reveals us something from him that he sent us in this world that we can use to paint and this thing is important but unfortunately people can't discover this they have to go through some a lot of tests or pains and discover the real reason of themselves and discover themselves and instead what happens is that people do one thing when they cannot understand themselves and they do not know they copy each other and sometimes you have to ask yourself if you who have seen art or you do an art or you copy someone's art or you do something else it's because you don't know really the person inside of you or really a special thing that you need to make out the Picasso or out the Da Vinci inside of you and you can do the special thing or the special thing God made you with that is different from each other and sometimes women for them to discover this they don't realize that they're not circles they're not the color pink they're different colors that God gave them and one color special that they like that God gave them and they don't know that God gave them that color and it's important to discover it it's important and sometimes the Bible will let us in that path and we will find mistakes and we will discover that Picasso that color that circle and we will see that God has inside of us something special that we discover and we know now the special things that he has for us and sometimes it's different for men and different for women and sometimes it can be the same as men and it can be the same for women it depends on you that is why when you discover these things you learn that we do something but to know the center of it all of the painting or to know the center of it all of sculpting we must know and pray to God to tell us so we can unleash that thing that he gave us before he sent us here in this world from heaven and that special thing that he has a relationship with us will reveal to us and sometimes will help us find our true love and it is sometimes the thing that we need so we can do the mission that God has sent us here so we can accomplish it and it's special that is why sometimes women have to find the center of themselves or find the center of why they are women or why they are here and why they paint and when they discover and they pray to God God will reveal it to them and the man will find his stuff find the Picasso find the purpose and with it they will know what God wanted them and it's a special thing that is why you have to look in the Bible because in the Bible you will find the woman things and you will find the real things of the Bible and you will find the man things it is important to discover to look for it in the Bible and if you pray God will reveal it to you